Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Chairman of the Microsoft Corporation, Bill Gates. Well, good evening. I've always loved coming back from uh, Christmas vacation. You're nice and relaxed, and you come right into the most manic environment ever, uh, seeing all these thousands of companies delivering on the promise of the digital decade. Uh, it's always been fun to come here. I love giving the keynote. In fact, people ask me, uh, are you going to keep doing it? What, what's the plan there? And the answer is yes, next year I'll uh, give the, uh, be involved in the keynote like I always have been. After that, I'm not sure they'll want to invite me because I, I might talk a lot more about infectious diseases than uh, great software. So I, if they want me, fine, but uh, they'd be warned uh, what, what they would hear about. Well, it's amazing uh, to see the progress over the course of the year. Uh, truly, the digital decade is, is happening. Uh, we see it everywhere we look. We see it in photography uh, over two billion digital photos uh, were taken this last year. 65% uh, of homes are using digital cameras. We see it in the internet adoption, higher and higher penetration on a worldwide basis, uh, and more and more activity there, whether it's buying and selling, or whether it's planning, or uh, being creative. The internet connected up to the, the Windows PC and other devices is uh, taking over things that would have been done without it before. Over 40% of U.S. homes now have multiple personal computers. And if you look at young people, the new generation, they actually spend more time on their Windows PC than they spend watching TV. Now that's a pretty dramatic change. Uh, we see portable devices uh, proliferating, a higher and higher part of the growing PC market. We see the connections, both through Wi-Fi and 3G, getting to the point where you can get information wherever you want to go. And we're just scratching the surface. More and more can be done, because as this marketplace has expanded, the number of startups, the R&D budgets of the established companies all are investing in this global market uh, to do better and better work. How do we look at that? Now, what are some of the uh, metrics that we have here? But well, we have incredible devices with very high fidelity. You know, think about cameras, uh, six megapixels and up. Think about these high definition screens that when you buy it, you just drool looking at that picture. Uh, it's such an improvement over the classic TV uh, screen that you used to have, and now it connects up to uh, your high definition cable, to your PC, to your games, all those experiences taking advantage of that uh, incredible uh, visual capability. Network bandwidth has gone up uh, very dramatically. That's, we're avoiding that being a bottleneck, even as we're sending high definition signals around. Uh, the processors are now opening the, the memory capability up to 64 bit. And that's a transition we're making without a lot of incompatibility, with a lot of pain, without paying a lot of extra money. Uh, software, the old 32 bit software can run, but if you need to get more space, uh, it's just there. Uh, the graphics resolution is letting us think about representing reality on the screen. So when you shop, it won't just be a list of things, it'll be that environment, either the store as it really exists or the store as it would exist if it was designed for you personally. And, and so we're seeing that in games, we're seeing that in virtual reality, that this presentation richness that all these great devices deliver uh, because of the graphics chips and the screens and the development tools, it's, it's really quite phenomenal. Uh, storage space, uh, you know, people aren't talking uh, uh, gigabytes anymore, they're talking terabytes of storage or petabytes of storage where uh, really that doesn't hold us back at all, even with the, the largest databases. And so we, we have amazing hardware. I love walking around the CES floor saying, okay, who's got the biggest LCD this year? Who's got the biggest plasma? Who's got the biggest a hard disk. So those are an element of the equation of what uh, we need to deliver on the promise of digital decade. But that alone's not enough. Uh, there's some key uh, things missing, and in particular, uh, the key thing missing is, is the connections. Delivering on connected experiences requires more than just 
great hardware. And so consumer electronics has been defined to be a much broader industry. Uh, as Gary alluded to it, the content people now need to think about how they create around this environment, how they connect into it. Uh, it's a, an environment where people want to do things across multiple devices, working with many other people. I want my music when I'm in the car, when I'm at home, when I'm in the living room. I want that to be simple. I want my family schedule and the ease of updating it from the phone, the PC, uh, just touching something on the refrigerator. I want to collaborate with people. I want to uh, have the experience connect up to people at work as well as at home. So we can't even just say consumer because the experience, experiences span into that business environment. And so delivering on connected experiences where people are being productive, doing new creative things, where they're sharing with each other, where they're mobile, where they're just playing games, that is the key element that's missing and something that we've all got to deliver on uh, to take full advantage of that hardware and, and deliver on the promise. Now for Microsoft this year, uh, it's a big, big milestone because the products we've been working on for many years that are foundational products are now moving into the marketplace. Uh, first, of course, that's uh, Windows Vista, and uh, it's been many years of hard work with millions of people giving us uh, great feedback on that. Uh, this is by far uh, the most important release of, of Windows ever. It's also the highest quality release uh, that we've ever done, uh, whether it's security or testing or usability, all of these things, we've, we have learned a lot uh, driven by the, the feedback that those uh, hundreds of millions of users are able to provide to us. So Vista and the PC continue to have a central role. All these other devices are very, very important, but they, they've got to work together. As we look at the rise of user-generated content and tools of creativity, uh, that is happening on the PC, and yet those have to be available and accessible in all the different uh, devices. This is a big project, and rather than talk about the features, I just want to talk about what we've been through uh, to, to pull this all together. You'll be discovering features as you go forward uh, because of the depth that's there. A good example of that is I had a friend come up and say, hey, I didn't realize parental controls were built in. I used to have to think about buying software, paying for that, and not sure I could configure it the right way. Uh, it's a lot more immune from tampering, a lot better when it's just built 